Hey guys, this is Nir Pump from the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now today I want to share with you the Garmin X50i. This is the newest dive computer we have at Blue Water Photo and it is the highest end dive computer we've ever had. Uh, this is Garmin's answer to the Shearwater Perdix, which is a very popular computer for tech divers and anybody that wants a high, ca uh, high end dive computer with a large uh, screen. But the Garmin X50i has an even larger screen at three inches, and more importantly, it has a ton of features. It has more features than I can even name. So I wanna go over the features. I am not gonna do an, an unboxing in this video. It's just a talking head video because uh, the <laughs> computers actually come um, sealed, factory sealed, which is nice. And this is the only one that we currently have. We just got our first batch in. So once we get some more in and I can get a demo computer, I'll show you guys how it works uh, on the screen. But for now, let's just talk about what this computer can do. So uh, as I said before, it's got a three inch screen um, and it is fairly uh, a fairly good size. It's good enough for you know a good part of your forearm. It should be about that big on your forearm. And uh, it's a super bright LED screen uh, that you can configure to your own desire, which is great. Uh, but more importantly, this computer can actually do air integration. So it can show you what your air is uh, by having a transmitter on your first stage, um, transmitting directly to the computer. Now it does that via sonar. Um, and that allows you to transmit a lot farther. So the Garmin X50i can actually transmit messages up to, uh, I believe 30 meters, so almost 100 feet. Um, and when I say messages, I mean pre-programmed messages so that you can actually communicate with other divers in the water. And I believe it's up to 10 divers in the water at a time. So you can read everybody's air, you can communicate with them um, from a large, uh, from a far distance. And it makes the dive experience a totally different and unique experience because now you have a lot better communication with the people around you and you know how everybody's doing. Uh, now, I have heard some people say that they can actually hear uh, a little bit of the sonar underwater. It might be annoying to some, it might be okay. Um, I haven't gotten to try this yet, so I'll let you guys know if I can hear that underwater once I do try the Garmin 50i. This is a computer that's built for technical diving. It is depth proof down to 20 atmospheres, so about 660 feet, I believe. Deeper than most people are going to go. Um, and it is made for any condition. It's made for super rough conditions. You can knock it around uh, and it should be completely fine. Uh, now, because it is built for technical divers, you can do all kinds of uh, different profiles on this. You can use uh, Trimix, you can use Nitrox. Um, so it's really got uh, a lot of customization built in. It also has dive maps from 400 different dive sites around the world where you can actually see beth uh, bathymetric data. So you can see um, the contours underwater and everything like that. And it allows you to track your surface and exit entry points um, when you are diving using GPS. So that's pretty cool too. Now, of course, this computer is built for navigation. So it um, has a built-in compass. Uh, and it also allows for surface navigation with GPS, um, which is very cool. Uh, and you should be able to mark, you know, where you want to go with your different dive sites. Um, so in many ways, it goes back to Garmin's roots of really being um, in the GPS market. Because there are so many different specs that this dive computer is capable of, uh, I have my computer actually right here at our studio, and I'm just gonna read off some of the specs that are included because I cannot keep this all in my brain all at once. So. Um, Let's go down the list uh, and I'll basically tell you what the X50i has in store um, and we'll go from there. So the X50i has built-in mapping. Uh, it has an LED flashlight, believe it or not. I actually didn't know that, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's got a touch screen, of course. It's got a depth rating to 200 meters. We talked about that. Um, it's got an adjustable nylon strap to attach it to your wrist, uh, much like the Shearwater Perdix, actually. Uh, it has a uh, read first, uh, a fiber reinforced polymer casing, so that's what keeps it so sturdy. Um, it is, let's see here, it is 253 grams. I think that's a pretty decent sized computer. Obviously, it's not the smallest computer on the market, uh, but it's a good size for what you need to do. This is not the kind of Garmin computer where you can wear it as a wristwatch and just go out and play. Uh, this is the kind of Garmin computer that is built for diving specifically and for tech diving even more specifically. Uh, the battery life is 16 hours on medium brightness and 20 hours um, at the lowest brightness. Uh, at high brightness is 13 hours, so you will want to 
um, charge that as frequently as you can. Now there are a whole bunch of different sensors built in to the dive computer. So obviously you have GPS, uh, you have GLONASS, uh, Galileo, compass, gyroscope, an accelerometer, thermometer of course, so you can tell your temperature, depth sensor, uh, and an ambient light sensor, um, which I guess allows your screen to adjust. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it has c Bluetooth connectivity, so it can connect with your smartphone, um, which is great because there's actually a Garmin app that you can use with the computer, so you can see your dive profiles and everything once you get up. Um, and in terms of gas modes, it has a single gas mode, multi-gas mode for tech diving, uh, just a gauge mode, um, if you just want to use it as a depth gauge. Uh, it uses a um, Bowman ZHL16C uh, decompression model with gradient factors. Um, so that's the decompression model that is built in. Uh, it supports Nitrox, Trimix, um, closed circuit rebreather, which is really cool. Um, let's see here. A PO2, it measures is up to 2.0 um, with customizable deco settings. Uh, it supports air integration, which we talked about. Um, it shows you the gas time remaining, your gas consumption rate. Um, and it, of course, allows you to do safety stops, deep stops as well with custom gradient factors. Uh, you can customize how conservative your profile is. Um, so if you want to be a little bit more conservative with this dive computer, then you can definitely do that. Um, it will, has a dive descent and ascent rate indicator. Um, it has an automatic altitude adjustment if you are one of those high altitude divers. That's not really my thing, but good on you. Um, it will tell you the no-fly time, which is really cool because I don't know if I've had a dive computer that actually tells me the no-fly time or I just haven't been going deep enough into the settings. Uh, it has a dive planner. Um, it has a backlit screen, of course. Um, and it automatically saves your dive entry and exit location. So that to me is pretty cool because if you want to rehash a dive or you've, you know, you want to make sure um, that you've done certain site um, or maybe try a new area, uh, it'll show you where that is. Um, so it's really great if you have a dive boat as well. Um, there's all kinds of audible alerts, uh, buzzing alarms um, that are built in. It's got a three axis dive compass. Um, and yes, this uh, has a miss, miss deco lockout. So if you do miss your deco stop, it will lock you out. Um, it can be disabled before your dive with user acknowledgement. I wouldn't recommend that, I, but apparently that is a feature. Um, and it allows you to also do residual tissue loading resets. I also, again, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it can do that as well. Um, it actually has a few different features for outdoor recreation and boating, but I'm a diver. I'm going to talk about the, the dive modes. Um, so overall, this is a really cool computer. I highly recommend checking it out. We have it here at Blue Water Photo. We're going to be getting more. So this is our first one, which I'm really excited about. Um, I can't wait to get this underwater, and I can't wait to start using the sonar messaging and everything else that's built into this computer. Uh, so yeah. Um, Guys, if you like this video, please support our content. Uh, get your computer from us at Blue Water. And it e helps even more if you like and subscribe because um, then it goes out to other people using the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments below. We'll, um, I'm happy to answer them. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys out there diving.